Cats are independent and sometimes stubborn creatures by nature, but that doesn't mean they don't have feelings. In fact, certain habits and everyday things in their humans' lives can make them sad or even stress them out. In this video, you'll find out which everyday things could be causing your cat grief and how you can improve their quality of life. Number one, too little attention. Cats are independent animals, but they need regular attention and interaction with their humans. If a cat is neglected for long periods of time, it can feel lonely and sad. Long working days, lack of playtime or having their presence ignored can make them feel unimportant. Number two, changes in the environment. Cats love routine and feel most comfortable in their familiar surroundings. Sudden changes such as moving house, new furniture or the arrival of a new family member can make them very insecure and sad. These changes disturb their sense of security and often trigger stress. Number three, being alone all the time. Even though cats often do well on their own, this does not mean that they always enjoy it. Being home alone for long periods of time can lead to loneliness and sadness in many cats. Especially cats that are very people-oriented or have no other conspecifics suffer from being alone. Number four, ignoring their needs. Cats often communicate through subtle cues whether they are hungry, want to play or simply need attention. If these needs are regularly ignored, this can lead to sadness and frustration. For example, a cat that is hungry and waits in vain at the bowl, or one that does not have clean water and a clean litter tray regularly, can appear sad. Number five, noise and hectic atmosphere. Cats are very sensitive animals and are sensitive to loud noises and a hectic environment. Frequent loud noises such as building sight noise or loud music can make cats anxious and stressed. Number six, too little play and movement. Cats are curious and active animals that need mental and physical stimulation. If a cat doesn't have enough opportunities to play, it can become bored or frustrated, which often turns into sadness. And number seven, forced cuddling and unwanted closeness. Even though many cats like affection, they have their own ideas about when and how they want to be stroked. If cat owners hold, kiss or stroke their cats against their will, this can make the cat feel insecure or sad. It could lose trust in its human and distance itself. Would you now like to know what you should never do next to your cat? I'll tell you in the video I've linked here.